Welcome back to another episode of Dr. Taste Good Barbecue. What I have for you today. Today we're going to be doing up baby back ribs for the first time ever on the Rectech RTB380. Now I'm just a normal dude in the backyard grilling stuff. If I can do it, you can do it. Enjoy. Alright, this cook today really isn't about the prep of the ribs, but I am trying something new. First time ever using yellow mustard on ribs. Seen it done, heard you can't taste it. Not sure if I believe it, but I'm gonna figure that out today. For rubs, just going with the Plowboys Yardbird, going with the Ozark Heat from Our Butts Are Smoking, and just straight kosher salt. So I'm just gonna zip through this here, get these ready to go, and we'll get them on the rack deck. Alright, next step we're over here at the Rectech. Gonna fire up. And today we're cooking that. We're gonna start at 225. And I'm just gonna kinda of play this by ear, probably check it about every hour. See how we're doing. Not sure if I'm gonna wrap, unwrap, crank the heat, hot and fast. I'm gonna start a little slow, but we'll see how it goes. So next up over here to the pellet can of fan, we're gonna go with Chef Tom Mix of pecan and cherry. center we're going with just the straight uh, sea salt and mustard and throw the plow boys over here on the right now are you guys hearing that pulsing I think that's how it's supposed to be because it's trying to keep it at 225 it's kind of odd but I believe that to be the case We'll check back, see if she stays on or if we're breaking down. Alright, so we're an hour in, and I've finally gotten, I had some real heavy smoke going for about the first 45 minutes, now i got some pretty thin smoke rolling out of there. So what it's doing here, I believe, I thought I, at first I thought, oh well, my stars, it's, it's melting down on me, but... I think what it's doing here, it's it's pulsating the fan to actually try to, to cool it down a bit. So I'm sitting at 2.30 right now. Um, I played around with it a little bit beforehand and cranked it up to 300 and it doesn't do this. So I think it's just trying to keep it at that 225 set range that I'm at. Not 100% sure, but that's what I think. Alright, we are two hours in. It's time to take a peek. Looking good. I think we're just going to let them roll. Minimal pullback to this point. But it's alright. We're still early. And we're running low. So, just going to keep them going at 225 for another hour. Alright, so here we go, three hours in. One thing I can say about this Rec Tech is it holds temperature. I mean, I'm sitting right now at 227. So there they are. So, in my opinion, I probably have enough smoke on, but I just want to do this as an experiment. So we're three hours in. On this one, I'm gonna crank it up hot and fast here for about a half hour, I'll check them. 
think about another 45 minutes, I'm going to crank it up to 300, sauce them up, and then uh, put them on for another 15 minutes, call this good. Alright, so I'm just getting ready to sauce them up here. I noticed a little drip coming from the bottom there, so we'll see if I can figure out where that's coming from. It does not have a, a drip bucket. Probably a solid upgrade on this if they could channel the grease down into a bucket. But hey, we're just checking her out. Alright, well it's time to get saucy. So we're going with the Baxter's Dragon's Breath on the Ozark Heat. And on the other two we're just using the Sweet Baby Ray's Barbecue Sauce. Alright, we're just going to give these guys about 10-15 minutes to set up, call them good. Alright, it's been about 15 minutes, check it out. Just so you know, the edge is hot. Well, they don't got great bend to them. Then again, we kind of sped them up there. So that's the kosher salt. Pop was yard bird. Get some decent pull back there. Then we got the Ozark key. It's Baxter's Dragon Breath. Alright, we'll let these cool for a little bit, get them sliced up, come back for a taster. Alright, we'll do my taste here, then I'll come back with some feedback from the fam. So, in the picture that I'll put in just before this, I showed that the outer ones really got charred on the bottom. And that's probably due to the heat deflector with the, the solid piece in the middle. So, my initial thoughts are to rotate when you're cooking on this. But here we go. There they are. So we have the Plowboy's Yardbird with Sweet Baby Ray's. Kosher Salt, Sweet Baby Ray's, and then we have the Ozark Heat with Baxter's Dragonfire. Alright, let's go with the Kosher Salt first. Kind of fall off the bone there. I'm not tasting the mustard. Which I thought. Here we go. This is Plowboy's Yardbird. And Sweet Baby Rays. I mean, it's just maybe the flavor profile, but that one was a lot juicier also. I really like that. Here he goes. We got the Baxter's Dragon Breath and the Ozark Cape. It's got some heat, not as warm as I was expecting. Gotta take a note about that. Just to make sure. Alright, gonna go and see what the fam thinks. Be right back. Alright, back here with the fam results. So we all thought they were probably overdone till we dug into them. Hey, you know what? They they tasted really good for a three and a half hour, three forty-five minute cook. 
Uh, no issues whatsoever on that. But again, I would rotate them. So the center ones um, weren't as crispy as the exterior ones that I left there. So with that heat deflector, probably be a good idea just to bounce them around a little bit. But other than that, hey, look, we're going to chalk this one up to a win. So the Rectech Bullseye RTB380. That's two for two so far on cooking anyways. So if you like the video, make sure you hit that like. I'll put a subscribe icon for you. Right there. Another video. Right about there. Hey, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.